Yimla, Yahweh, Bahasim Yahusai, Bahasim Kahakodash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to save the water to the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments. Love you, Yahweh, Bahasim Yahusai, to the best of their ability. This is Yahanan Nawaf. Just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. A little update on um, this Russia, Ukraine, slash Poland, slash NATO situation or whatever. Okay, but this is um, Newsweek in the military section. NATO nations scramble fighter jets as Russia, as Russian missiles rain down on Ukraine, right? Okay, so it says Poland scrambled fighter jets to protect its airspace on Friday as Ukraine was hit with a barrage of Russia, Russian missiles and drones. The Polish Air Force said in a statement on X, formerly known as Twitter, that the jets were launched an intense long-range aviation activity and missile strikes from Russia on Ukrainian um, territory. Just days earlier on March 24th, a Russian cruise missile fired at Western Ukraine entered NATO member Poland's airspace. So, you know, that you got to keep that in mind. It's very important because Poland is a, um, a NATO member. And by that missile, I think they said the missile was in their airspace for like 39 seconds or whatever, right? It says, uh, all necessary procedures aimed at ensuring the safety of Polish airspace have been activated. And the operational command of the Polish Air Force is monitoring the situation continuously, the Polish Air Force post on X on Friday. Please note that Polish and Allied aircraft operate in Polish airspace, which may result in increased noise levels, especially in the southern eastern, the southeastern part of the country. Moscow launched a large, a large scale missile attack on Ukraine with missiles and drones in the early hours of Friday. Ukraine's Air Force said on Telegram that Russia lost 99 missiles and drones, including Shahed drones, KH-47M2, Kenzo's, and aeroballistic missiles. God damn. <laughs> Iskander-136 ballistic missiles, KH-59 guided aircraft missiles, four Iskander K cruise missiles, and 21 K-101 KH-555 cruise missiles. Golly, boy, they letting them go. But this right here also is an indicator, too, that, um, you know, that gift of the sword was given to Esau. See, those Russians are e Edomites. Those Ukrainians are Edomites. These Americans are Edomites. They're all, you know, Edomites. That's all they're going to do is fight, fight, fight until there's no more shit to blow up. That's why, you know, the Lord is going to shorten the time. Because if Esau continue to, to rule, nothing will survive. These men or th these nations of people that well, that nation of people which is Esau, Edom, the Edomites, they have the nuclear capability to black out the whole earth, man. Just this one race of people. Now, don't get me wrong, you know, China got a little something, something. Um, those um, Elamites, they got a little something, something. Um, those East Indians, they got a little something, something. But the ones that's, you know, that's never at peace and that can never have enough is these goddamn Edomites, the so-called white race, man. They, they threw out the earth. Just just doing shit. And they've been doing this for so long, man. So the Lord is going to come and take them out of power. It, it, it has to happen. If it doesn't happen, nothing will survive. Okay, it says, let's see what else they got. The enemy launched a powerful missile airstrike against the facilities of the fuel and energy sector of Ukraine using various types of missiles and attack UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles. The Air Force said, adding that air defense systems down 84 okay let's see 84 of the 99 launched weapons okay so all right still but shit that's enough to get in there and do some damage though you no know? you know you're missing like you know like 15 really kind of got off in there okay so big ass hawks flying man they be looking for food boy and then the block be quiet too with the little animals man the squirrels be out they be be in you know they little cuts Everything be hiding, man. <laughs> so like you. Anyway, it says, um, I'll be trying to watch myself because hey, these these damn hawks, they big enough, man. They'll they'll do shit. Anyway, uh 
honor and praise to all who defend Ukraine from Russian terror. Thank you for your combat efforts. Thank you for your results. Ukraine National Power Grid. Yeah, they knocked out that power grid, too. Said the target of Russian assault was the country's energy energy infrastructure facility. Well, that's any that's any um, strategic way of, you know, war, you know, to knock out, you know, um, shit that you need <laughs> your power. You know, that kills your communications. You know, that kills, you know, um, if you can't communicate, you can't get transports through and things of that nature, you know. So, you know, Esau, man, he he knows how to war. That's all he's been doing for thousands of years, man. <laughs> this motherfucker been war. He got that shit down pat. But, and that's why he's so proud, too. He has no idea that the Lord is about to strike him down, man. They don't think that that's coming. They, they The Lord has really, you know, got them in that pharaoh um spirit where they don't think that they could ever be downed man like they could ever come down from that that high pedestal that's why the, the scriptures talks about uh let me see if i can find it uh yeah, con isaiah 47 and 1 come down and sit in the dust O virgin daughter of babylon sit on the ground there is no throne O daughter of the chaldeans for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate and this is Babylon the Great right here, the Americas, you know, because they've never been struck, you know, like how they've been striking other countries. They've been striking other countries like it's nothing. Just think about a barrage of missiles hitting this place, like how America been going throughout the earth, man, bombing people. See, these so-called white people here, they're proud as hell. They don't think that it could ever happen. We're the best military in the world. We got everything going on. No one can fuck with us. You hear them all the time. You see them on, on these TikTok videos. You see them in the comment boards. You see them on TV. We have the best military might in the world. We have this. We have that. And then not to mention, you know, they, them, you know, them as a collective with NATO, but really just America, man, is the top, top Edomite country that's that's really out here just in rulership, so to speak, man. As a matter of fact, uh, let's see. Get that Joe. Uh, no, no, I wanted to get. Uh, what is that? Yeah, that pride comes before fall. I always forget that that's Proverbs 16 and 18. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before fall. So see, Esau is prideful, man. And that pride, they've been, you know, they, you know, and, 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 the, and the scriptures talks about this, another one. Um, judgment goes into judgment. I'm trying to think how it's worded. It's like you. Yeah, con, um, Ecclesiastes. work is not executed speedily therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil see because the lord he's long you know i'm um, suffering you know he could be hey, you know and the scriptures talks about how a, a thousand years is like a day to yahweh by shimmy so it's nothing it's these people have really only been ruling you know what i'm saying really in his sight like a half a day <laughs> but in our, you know, mortal bodies, that seems like a long, long time. You know what I'm saying? Because Esau, been, he just been doing what he's been doing for a long time. But this right here is just, you know, overall, I just pretty much wanted to just grab the basic scriptures and just do an update. Uh, Matthew 24. Let's start at verse 3. Because we got to, uh, you know, continue on blowing the trumpet, continue on showing our people where we're at in, this, in these prophecies. Because the scripture says to uh, measure thou the time diligently in itself, you know, um, to measure the times, man. I mean, you know, the only way that we can measure the times is by reading the scriptures. That's why it's so important to stay in the scriptures. Continue on reading. Continue on listening to lessons from um, brothers that are educating you. You're, you're building you up and, um, you know, continue on praying for more insight, you know, pray, man. You know, uh, because we're living in the last days. This thing is getting closer and closer and closer it's a lot of stuff that's going on in the world that's being um revealed the lord is revealing a lot of stuff man you know to the prophets man he says he you know he'll you know um reveal his secrets to this um his service to prophets man so be on point so let's start here matthew 24 and 3 
It says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world? And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. And that's the true name of the Father. I mean, um, the Son, Yahweh Shai. And the true name of the, the Father is uh, Yahweh, which means he exists with the existing one. And the true name of his Son is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior or Deliverer in the Paleo-Hebrew. Those are the true names of the Father and Son. And um, these lessons are really for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Your biblical name is your Israelites. And the Lord is doing all this stuff in the planet, in the earth. And, you know, he's doing that, all that on behalf of his, his, his inheritance, his portion, which are you children of Israel. So he's about to take these nations down. He's about to do a real work to these nations, man. You know, he's gathering them up right now, man, <laughs> for, that, for that, that great battle, man, to, um, you know, he's pleading for, he's going to plead for the children of Israel, man, his, his portion, his cut, his, his inheritance. And you so-called white people, you got a lot of, uh, you got to pay. You're really going to have to pay, man, for, um, you know, can you imagine you, you've stolen the most powerful, <laughs> the most powerful being in the universe is uh, 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 possession, man. You know what I'm saying? You got regular old niggas on the block, man, that'll do you all kinds of dirty, man, for taking from them. So just imagine the one that created the heavens and the earth, man. And that's Yahweh, why Yahweh shy. And hey, it's about to get nasty, man. Anyway, let's read on. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, or Mashiach, or the Messiah, right, rather, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So we're not to be afraid or troubled. See this? I was in the store the other night, and, um, you know, me and this guy was kicking it, um, a gentleman behind the counter, you know, because they got the big TVs up in the store. So, you know, standing there and I'm looking up while he's ringing me up or whatever. And I'm like, oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, he was watching the news. And, you know, we we, we, we kind of conversated about, uh, you know, what he thought about, you know, what's going on. You know, he gave his um, opinions and stuff like that. And, um, you know, and we kicked it for a hot little sec. So as I'm about to, you know, walk out the store, I'm still, you know, kind of speaking with him. There's a lady, she walks in. <laughs> uh, so-called black woman you know she was she was a, appeared to be a little older but you know i was telling the guy i was like you know i was like well man you know hey i don't you know if america lasts another three years i'd be surprised and this lady she was like oh shit oh hell you know <laughs> because they already know what's up man they know what's up you know and, and, and you know a lot of these people they don't really want um you know uh they don't want to really concentrate on, or, or you know, they, they don't want to think on these things. You know, they, they don't want to hear what's really coming. They, you know, see, Jake want to hear smooth words. And that smooth word shit is not going to get you nowhere but destroy it, man. Them smooth words ain't going to get you nowhere. All that smooth talk, that's not beneficial to you. We have to give you the straight, raw medicine here, man. Open your damn mouth. We'll hold your nose. You open your mouth and you just take it down. Because other than that, you're not going to, you know, you, you can't, you're not going to receive, man. But anyway, that's just the attitude that she had. And I was just, it just dawned on me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I just kept on walking to my truck, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, she just don't fucking know. But she felt it, though. You know, I can tell the way that she kind of grunted, you know, because this is a talk that's being spoken of, but it's not being spoken of. To, to, to the, you know, to the extent of Bible prophecy, man. See, people, they kind of look at the news. They see a little something and they know what's going on as far as the social media, a little something, something. But they don't know biblically that, hey, this place, this, all this stuff is prophetic. Okay, but anyway. Okay, it says, and, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled. So we're not to be troubled. But that lady, she kind of seemed as if she was by what I said. It says, um, for all these things must come to pass but the end is not yet for a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places all these are the beginning of sorrows this is just a few of the things that he was naming off but these things are happening you know i've been watching you know i watched this zero news channel and over you know gaza -A over there you know what i'm saying with the, the small hats over there 
bombarding those people with all those dang on bombs. <laughs> but you know, they dropping um aid, you know, big pallets of aid from parachutes and shit out of these airplanes, right? You know, over the over the, the sea that's over there, over the water. So these people they trying to get out there to the water, which is stupid as hell. They trying to get out there in the water. They get this food and get these, you know, the medicine and shit like that, and they drowning. You see? And it's all because of famine. And you're looking at the TV, you know what I'm saying? You know, they got them people looking like, you remember those old African commercials? You know, where they talk about, yeah, you can feed a child for 30 days for 47 cents or some crazy shit, and the flies will be flying around their mouth. They not even, they don't have the strength to even swat them. That's the way they got those those people over there in Gaza looking, man. They showing all these images of, you know, these little skeletal babies and shit like that. That's uh, malnutrition, man. And, you know, so so it, hey, it's, it, the famine is happening to them right now. And you'd be surprised at how many people going hungry right here in America. Real talk. You'd be surprised at how many people in America that's going hungry as hell right now. Why? Because the food is expensive as shit. The food stamps that they were getting are not stretching. You know, people just with regular drive, regular jobs that don't get no assistance, they're really struggling here. People not eating. You be looking at people like, damn, you're losing weight. You know, you're hitting the gym. No, they losing weight because they're not eating the way that they was eating before. <laughs> just straight up. And I know this one chick at my job, plantation or whatever, she got five kids, whatever. And, and, and she, she, you know, she told me straight up. She was like, you know, I don't eat really. You know, she was like, you know, whatever my kids leave on the plates, I scrape them all to one plate, which is barely nothing because they're so hungry. And she eats what they leave on the plate. She was like, my kids come first. And she's by herself. She's on a dolo. You know, she doesn't have no help like that. She doesn't have no man. <laughs> so you're living in times where. Things are getting really bad and you're starting to see a lot of these TikTok videos with with, uh, you know, um, just women in general, just getting done dirty. You know, um, it's just a lot of shit going on, man. People, they, they don't have that natural affection, which that description goes off into that as well. Matter of fact, let's get that. This right here is an indicator right here, too. Of um, Let me see if this is it. No, nope, that's not it. Second Timothy. This is an indicator right here of what's happening. You know, this is how we know that we're in the last days right here, because all this shit is happening in real time. It's a, um, it's entitled difficult times will come. And the NLT is entitled the dangers of the last days. It says this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Now, this was spoken of 2000 years ago. So just imagine how close we are right now. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. You can't tell me we're not in a time period where men love themselves and women. They're constantly in the damn mirror, constantly taking damn pictures and photos and videos. And they own the gram, they own the Snapchat, they own YouTube. They just, you know, it's and, and, and just influencing nothing but some bullshit. It says covetous. You're in a coven, covetous generation. Everybody want everybody else's shit. Everybody want everybody else's look. That's why you see a lot of these women, all of them getting the BBLs. Why? Because they coveting the way that, she, you know, she looks. They want her look. They want, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, the, the, the damn eyebrows, the fucking, the, you know, and all this other stuff, man. Right? And, and, and the men as well. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 you know, it, they got these... It's just it's, it's, it's just retarded. Everybody coveting everybody else's shit. They want their talent. They want their, you know, their 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 fucking spouse. They want their house, their car, their, you know, so everything is in a covetous mode. It says boasters. You're not going to get a more braggadocious um, generation in this. They boast. They boast like crazy about everything. You know, proud blasphemers can't get a more prouder generation, man. Disobedient to parents. Look at how these kids act, man. Unthankful unholy see these things are happening you can't tell me that you you're not running across these people on a day-to-day -day basis it says without natural affection people don't have no natural affection no more man you can be getting your ass whoops somebody stabbing you up or whatever the case may be and people gonna film you <clears throat> they're gonna have your ass when they lie they're not gonna call 911 
It says um, truce breakers. Of course, if nobody keep, you know, nobody can, you know, can keep their word. They're not keeping their word. <laughs> right. It goes on to say false accusers. You can get lied on about any damn thing right now, man. <laughs> Plenty of people sitting in jail, especially, you know, uh, uh, you know, from from some lot that somebody done told and destroyed completely destroyed somebody's life for some, you know, because they were mad at the moment, you know. It says, um, false accusers, <laughs> incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. So if anybody out here running around with some sense, trying to act as if they're, they're trying to live right in some way, then you got the haters that's like, look at this goody two shoes. <clears throat> because, because our people are notorious for for loving wickedness man that's why they you know a uh, 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 a site like world star hip-hop can can thrive so well because our people like to see bullshit right <clears throat> he goes on to say traitors <clears throat> they're traitors because for real man motherfucker would turn their back on you quick these days you thinking that you got a friend come on bro hey you that's why it's so important to vet people man Mm, just letting anybody just around you got to vet people real strong these days, man. You might have to do that surprise phone call on the asses about three o'clock in the morning. Like, man, I'm over here on this side of town, man. My car done broke down. Can you come swoop? A real friend going to get up <laughs> and come swoop, <laughs> you know, but but uh, but uh, but a motherfucker that's that, that's not really your friend. They going, oh, man, I got to, you know, I got to, um, you know, what, what happened, you know, no, a real friend going to get up, man. They're not going to tell you I got to be to work in a couple more hours. Hey, it, it's just a day where, hey, okay, I'm up er, extra early. Let me go and, let me go and, um, you know. <laughs> you know, but it says, um, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures of, more than um, lovers of God. Having a form of godliness, but denying the powers thereof from such turn away. So the Lord then gave you a whole list of people to stay away, stay away from. But these are things that are happening in the end days. It clearly says this. Know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. And that word perilous goes off into difficult, real hard times is happening, man. It's happening right now. But guess what? The Lord is about to turn that notch up. He's about to turn that shit up. And it's about to get even more crazy around here. But these are the prophecies that's playing out. So basically, that's what I wanted to go off into. But hey, this Russia, Ukraine shit. Hey, this going to turn up even further, you know, because, again, you got to realize Poland is a NATO state. They're, you know, a part of NATO. That missile that went into their airspace for them 39 seconds. Hey, that goes against, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, but see these NATO, see these NATO, that, that lets you know, too, these NATO nations really don't want it with Russia. Because had this been any other country, you know, without that nuclear might that Russia has, they'd have been all over the asses, man. See, they know that Russia got that nuclear might to take out their damn countries. That's the reason why they're so slow, because other than that, I mean, that's really they've broken one of their NATO treaty laws, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? By them flying that missile over, you know, hell, had it been in their airspace for one second, just just within the border, he ain't even had to even be in their airspace, you know. And that's another thing, too. You can tell that um, Esau, the so-called white man is running the earth because Think about this motherfucker. He has airspace. He has he has he has hunkered down and claimed space of air, spaces of air, spaces of water, seas and oceans and shit like that. That lets you know, man. <laughs> These motherfuckers are the wicked that's running the earth. And then all the other countries that's got a little little bit of that, you know what I'm saying? Your North Korea, your China. Hey, these so-called white people, they want all that too. They're like, no, nah, we 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 need that. We need that. We need those lands. We need those islands. We need all that. We want that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, I was just watching the Equalizer 3 last night with Denzel. <laughs> it was all right. You know what I'm saying? But he's over there in Italy. You know what I'm saying? It was all right. I ain't gonna, it was all right. But the guy that was there, he was like, shit, he was just trying to take over everything, man. He, all the shit that he had, he just didn't have enough. It wasn't enough for him. And that's Esau. 
So, hey man, this is what you're witnessing. Because Esau is not gonna stop. These so-called white people are not gonna stop. They can never have enough. If they make it to, they're never gonna make it to the moon, like they're saying. They're never gonna make it to Mars, like they're saying. They're gonna front like they. But if just let's just say if they did, if they got to Mars, you know they're going to Jupiter. If they get to Jupiter, you know <laughs> they'll never stop, man. It, 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 nothing can ever be enough for this man. Here you go. You got all these problems on Earth that you've created, of course. But you you ready to go somewhere else and, and all in the name of your science and shit, acting as if you're just God, man. For real, man, this shit is retarded. But anyway, I'm going to end out there, man. I wanted to just, you know, another recap, another touch up. We're going to stay on top of this type of stuff. So, you know, if you get bored with it, hey, you know, there's plenty of other stuff on the tube to watch. Anyway, with that, Kwame Shola. Thank <laughs> you.